I was sent the Shell recharging system for your electric vehicle and asked to give my opinion on it and make this short video. So here it goes. Here's everything you're going to get. You're going to get this really cool carrying case. It's got the Shell logo here on the front and then you get a nice handle here and even got some grommets that you can use to tie this down on the back of your vehicle so it's not sliding around. But it's very good to be able to keep one of these with you because if you go to a home that does not have a charger, you might be able to use this because it has a very long cord, 25 foot. You could connect this into a dryer plug or anything else with a, a 40 amp service and be able to connect it in and be able to charge your car. So if you're on the road and you're not sure what the facilities are going to be, it's good to have one of these with you. This is the whole kit you need right in one uh, bag. So it comes with instructions here. It's a very short book. Here it explains how to use it and how the uh, error messages and whatnot might be displayed so you can get some troubleshooting information there if you've got questions. You get the whole device. It's strapped down to the case here. So let's get this thing out of the bag here and then we will take it and connect it into my port in my garage and then we'll charge up my Chevy Volt and see how it does. Now connecting up the charger is real easy. Just gonna, I'm gonna make sure you take that plastic cover off the plug and then plug it straight into your 50 amp service like that. And then you're gonna see it start to illuminate here on the device. And you're able to make some adjustments to the amount of amperage and to the timing for when this thing operates by using these two buttons here, which is pretty cool. And looking at the um, charge head, it's got a cover over it so when you're transporting it and you're in your vehicle or whatnot you can just um, lift this here and remove this rubber cover so it keeps that from getting any crud in there because this is what's going to plug right into your vehicle and you've got a button here that allows it to release this lock here at the top and then this is on a on a long uh, string here so if you uh, don't lose it you can be able to just find it and put it right back on there and secure that back and keep it clean Here's a closer look at the display screen. You can see it's showing 78 degrees Fahrenheit with an availability of 252 volts. And then it's saying it's ready to charge, ready to go ahead and plug into the vehicle. And it's showing that there's currently zero kilowatt and kilowatt hours being drawn through the charger, but it's ready to go. And it's set right now, it's not pulling any amps, it's got zero amps, but it's ready to pull a max of 40. And you can adjust that. So if I press and hold uh, the A button there, then that starts to flash and then I can adjust that, as well as the timer. If I press and hold the timer, then I can adjust the timer here as well. So very handy how this works. Uh, it's got that timer update ability here. I can go for, say I'm gonna do this for five hours, and that's all I wanna do for the charge. Then I could activate it and, it, and that programming will be in the device itself. And then same thing with the amps. I can just update, I can go down to 12 amps, and I can go 16, it's going to increment 24, and then back, take me back up 32, and then back to 40, which is the maximum for this device. On the back of the device, there's some good information as well. It tells you what the statuses mean for the LED. So if it's just lit up uh, with the A, it's ready. And then if the A is flashing, it's charging. And then you got an error mode if it's in red. And then if you hold for two seconds, that's how you operate each of those setting the current, setting the timer, and then stopping the charging by pushing on both of them. All right, here we are at my Chevy Volt. Just go ahead and open the charging compartment. There we go. And then I'll plug the charger in there. And then we'll go ahead and check it out and see how it's doing on the control panel. All right, so the Chevy Volt doesn't accept a full 40 amps, but what it is accepting here is 13 amps, as you can see and it's showing that we're charging and we've got 3.4 kilowatts flowing through the system right now, 239 volts. And it's pretty hot out. It's uh, 95 degrees, which is normal down here in Texas. And you've got the blinking uh, green uh, on the A button and that indicates that we are charging. So this is gonna continue to charge till we get a maxed out battery and we'll be good to go. Overall, I'm real happy with this Shell Recharge Level 2 charger. I think you will be too. Super convenient to take it with you. I really like the case that they give you. Uh, it's all really well made and it works great. So hey, hope this video was helpful. Learn a little bit more about this device and how it might help you with your EV charging. And as always, hope you have a great day.